The drama happens right now on Mari. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama. A child with a life-threatening disability. The lifespan of your daughter is not long, is it? Five years. Josh is the only father this girl's ever had, and he grew up with a disability himself. I was born with a deformed right arm, and all through school, he's made fun of me. But they're here because there's a chance that another man is Carissa's father. He has to put two different guys and me myself every day. Why are we even going through this? Let's just not do it. I have to find out so I can tell doctors. I want to know if I need closure in my heart. It's one of the most important DNA tests we've ever had. It's going to kill me if she's not mine. Is Josh Carissa's father? Josh. Plus, more paternity drama you'll never forget. They have four kids, but he denies the youngest because he thinks Mary cheated with the neighbor. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? And it's the biggest twist of the year. She's positive Terry is not. This mother says no way, but is Terry the father? Terry. It's the most memorable hour of the year, and it starts now. Everybody, everybody, this, this is Alyssa, all right? And this story's a little different. Sit down, Alyssa. Because Alyssa is praying that her fiance, Josh, is the father of her one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Carissa. Aww. Now, here's the thing. Baby Carissa suffers from a rare, life-threatening condition called infantile spasms. And it causes her to have the brain capacity of a four-month-old baby. So while Alyssa and Josh struggle to care for Marissa, they're haunted by the fact that around the time Alyssa got pregnant, she slept with another guy. And they're unsure as to who fathered her daughter. This is her story. I feel say Josh is the love of my life, but I'm devastated about the situation I put him in. When I was 15 years old, I was running the streets, and I had slept with Josh and another man. Three months later, I found out I was pregnant. I was honest with Josh. I told him he might not be Chris's father. When Chris had turned four months old, Josh came back into our lives, and we've been a family since. Right after we got back together, Chris had got very sick and was diagnosed with a severe form of epilepsy. It just tore me up to know my baby has a problem. There's nothing I could do to help her. <laughs> she can't crawl. She can't talk. She can't tell me what she needs when she needs it. Me and Josh love each other, but not knowing peace of father is ruining our relationship. <laughs> you blame yourself. I blame myself every day because... I, I did it to my baby. I slept with two different guys, and I did that to my baby. I don't know her dad. I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait a second. You didn't do anything about her condition. You didn't have anything to do with that. I blame myself still for it. But I, you blame yourself for that? But the doctors told, told you that you weren't to blame for that. Because I blame myself because when I had her and I not noticed she wasn't developing right, she's my first baby. I didn't know. I didn't get her no help or nothing. And she could have been taken care of a long time ago. She would have got the help. Now, since then, you and Josh have had another child, right? I've had a four-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. He's just the best dad. And he's fine, right? He's perfectly healthy, and I but look at Marissa, him. And but Marissa can't walk or talk. She or... can't do nothing. I look at my son and I get so sad because I look at him doing all this and my daughter's not. But here's the thing. Josh himself was born with a birth defect, wasn't he? Josh had his umbilical cord wrapped around his arm and it cut off the growth of his arm. <laughs> but Josh is a great dad, isn't he? Josh has everything for my babies. He's been there since my daughter's been five months old. And... <laughs> Span of your daughter is not long, is it? They say that her life expectancy is five years, oh. and 50% get better, 50% pass away. So if she doesn't get better, she'll pass. Well, let me ask you this: If you and Josh are together, you love each other. You have these two children, right? Why are we even going through this? Let's just not do it. I have to find out for my baby. I have to know so I can tell doctors his side and, like. 
Oh, the so you can condition. see the, the, the medical history of your baby <laughs> from the father's side. Yes. If you and Josh were together, why, why, why did you mess around with somebody? We weren't together when I messed around with him. Oh. I got pregnant, I got drunk. Me and him, you know, did what we did. I went with my high school sweetheart. Um, and then I found out I was pregnant. I told him, I told him right away he might not be her dad. You told who, Josh? Josh, right away. That what about the other guy? Did you tell him? I Does did. Does he know about it? Does he, he want to be in Carissa's life? No. He doesn't want nothing to do with her. But Josh, he's the guy in the... Josh fights for my baby. He goes to, he's trying to get an internship. He goes to school. Well, this is what your fiance Josh has to say, okay? Watch. My family, they mean everything to me. Whenever I think of my daughter, she's my everything. I do everything for her. When I think about Carissa not being mine, it kills me inside. When I found out Carissa was sick, I fell down on my knees and I started praying to God. The doctors told me that Carissa might not live past five years old. It killed me knowing I can't fix something like that. If Carissa lives past five years old, the doctor said they're probably gonna be mentally retarded. She's gonna be different from all the other kids and how are they gonna make fun of her? You know, I don't want that for her. I know what it's like to be different. I was born with a deformed right arm. All through school, he's made fun of me. Ah, oh, look at his arm. You're never gonna be able to do anything in your life with that arm. And finally, now I'm doing something with my life. I want my daughter to have a better life than I've had. I wanna give her something that I never had. And it's a dad and a father in her life. I tell everybody, regardless if she's mine or not, she'll always be mine. Everybody, welcome Josh. Here he is. Josh, did you want this test? Yes, sir. Why? I have to figure, I, I need closure in my heart. I want to know if- You won't love that daughter any less, would you? No, sir. Gonna You're going to be her. there no matter what, aren't you? Yeah. She, like I say, she... <laughs> Like I said, you know, regardless if she's not mine, she'll always be mine. That's my, that's my baby girl. You probably, more than anybody here, know what it's like to have a disability like this. What is she going to go through? She's going to go through hell. I mean, it's going to be, I, I've been made fun of. You know, people made fun of me for when I was little. You can't play basketball with us. You can't do this with us. You know, you're never going to be able to do anything when you grow up. You know, today, I mean, I played football. You know, I, I proved to them that I, I can do it. See a similarity of the two of them or not? Only their nose. I think she has my nose. It's gonna kill me to find out, you know, if she's not mine, you know. But either way, you know, I'm still gonna man up and take care of that girl. When it comes to a year and a half old Carissa, Josh, you are not. <laughs> this possibilities all right <laughs> and I know I know I know you love this girl and just think about this little girl if you're not there she's gonna miss out on your love and that's gonna mean everything to her you're her dad Josh regardless of the test you're her daddy I'm sorry. no it's okay I'm her dad <laughs> You got a great guy here. You're a really good man. I want to. I want a doctor. 
I want to get on the ball and adopt because you're my last name, you know. Tonight's going to be okay. Right. Just be there for each other. She caught Marcus her sister. And on top of that, Marcus denies he's the father of her baby. She doesn't look like me at all. Marcus. They have four kids, but he denies the youngest because he thinks Mary cheated with the neighbor. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? No, we'll see. No, we'll see. And it's the biggest twist of the year. She's positive Terry is not. It's the most memorable hour of the year, and it starts now. My next guest, Naeem, started dating this man, Marcus, when she was only 16 years old. You see, Naima says Marcus was her first love. But as soon as she got pregnant with her now three-year-old son, Malik, look at him. Look how cute he is. As soon as she got pregnant, she says, Marcus, Pushed her away, started to deny the baby. Stupid! Stupid! So, desperate to have Marcus be a part of her son's life, Naima took Marcus back, but she says the relationship ended forever when she caught Marcus underneath her sister. Give me the picture. You walked into your bedroom, right? Yes, I did. I was sleeping in the living room. We just went swimming. It was a family little get together. I brought them back into my life and my family. More I woke up. They are in the room. The door closed. So I instantly had a, like a startled feeling. And I opened the door. He under she underneath yeah. him. Oh. Yes, Lord. Well, what did you again? Did I? Yes, for good. Oh, so. For good. As soon as you got pregnant, Marcus said, no, it's not mine. Immediately. Immediately, more that hurt in my heart. You know why? <laughs> you know why he said that? He said, because you were, he said you were sleeping with six different guys. He's stupid. Yes. He's stupid. I don't know what he's talking about. How you, what you, going off with the streets, say? Eh? That's what's got you in this situation yeah. in the first oh, place. Oh, is that what he heard? You, you know yes, what? I am. I deserve better than that. You know what I'm saying? This is, this, is what, this is what Marcus had to say. Watch what Marcus had to say. Naima, I have some very strong doubts about Malik being my son. And it's all your fault. You're the one that put us in this position. You slept with six other guys that I know of. And that's why I have doubts about Malik being my son. In the beginning, I wanted Malik to be my son because I thought he looked like me. But as he got older, I realized he doesn't look like me at all. And stop making up lies about me and your sister because I didn't sleep with him. Naima, you're the liar and you're the hoe. And I'm hoping that Malik is not my son. Let me talk to you. Mind, right? Marcus. Yeah. It's not yours. I no. I was going to say, I was mad him. No, it's not mine. I'm not sure you had a roof for yeah. me to say. Hey, man. Talk, man. Can I talk, man? I know. Hey, I, gonna I, let I, me talk. Is you gonna let I me talk, talk man? No uh, Naima, sit that. down. Sit down. Yeah, let me talk. Let me okay. Sit down, man. Sit okay. down. Okay. She's a street run. Since the baby's been born, man, my mama didn't take care of the baby more than she had. The whole story Three ain't years. none of this out. Three and none of this out. When I met her, Your she was home. Was there, she was home when I met her. So I don't know that. She was home. Does your Marcus? Does your does your mother? Your mother think it's this her grandson? Our baby. Does my mother what? Does your mother think my it's her grandson? My mother grand supported it because I brought it into no, not my, because her of you, life. She but up until now, she, she don't know what's going on with me. Gotta with me, man. None of that. None of that. None of that. You didn't do yeah. 
Marcus, I got a Marcus, question. Marcus, what are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing? Y'all want to deal with her? That's now, the question, man. Right, Who okay. gonna deal with her? Okay, but here. But here's the thing, you make all these accusations about the people she's sleeping with, but she walks in on you and her sister. Never, never, Marcus, do you have any other children? Y'all gave her this, man. She don't dress like that, man. Y'all gave her that, man. Y'all gave her that, man. If you're the father of this child, you're going to yeah. take care of this child. If, if I'm the father of the child, there's some things that I'm going to have to do, but I wish it was another woman, though. That's what's going on. Oh, I can understand that. But as long as you're responsible for that child. But I can't do nothing with this. Well, we're going to find out right now. How's that? When it comes to yes. old Malik, yes. you are the father. <laughs>
hold it. Him. Bryce looks like me more than him. He does everything with these kids. Yes, he takes them to the park. He goes to basketball games with them, baseball games with them. I just don't understand. It's stupid. I can't Why believe it. Why all of a it. sudden, uh, with the with the with the little one, the six month old with Bryce, he's getting all this ideas that he's not the father. Because he's been off cheating on me. He, the baby has blue eyes. Look at him. My eyes are green. Right. My brother has blue eyes. My other it's brother has blue eyes. because of the eyes? Yeah, because of the eyes. That's it. You never cheated on me. No, never. I took a lie detector test right there. Right It'll there. say it all. This is what Brian had to say, everybody. Watch this. I love my fiance, May, but I'm pissed. I don't believe her six-month-old son, Bryce, is mine. When Mary was pregnant, she told me two different times that that baby wasn't mine. I believe Mary was cheating on me during the time she got pregnant. I heard her ex was at our house two times. He could be the father of this baby. I heard Mary cheated on me with one of the neighbors and even gave him oral sex. Mary said it never happened, but I know she's lying to me. Mary and my family mean the world to me, but if I find out Bryce is not my son, Mary, I'm gone. Here's Brian. Brian, come on out. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Brian? Are you serious? You don't know me. You don't know me. Brian, you are ridiculous. You don't know me. I can't believe you. You don't know me. Look at that little child. I, I hope he is mine. I love him to death. I don't treat him any different than any other kid. I don't. But, but if you look, if you look, compared to all my baby pictures, my, my, my grandfather got, and I it know. It doesn't matter. My grandfather my got brown eyes. eyes. My look girls my got eyes. brown eyes. Look my at son's my got brown eyes. eyes. Look at your sister's eyes. Look at your niece's okay. eyes. They're well, you all have, green okay. and blue. Your well, mom has Look into my eyes. Let's ask the audience. What do you see? Okay. Let's ask the audience. You are so stupid. Okay. Oh, I look stupid. You don't yeah. tell somebody that you no, love that's been raising one that's four gonna kids. You look like a dumbass. Oh, well, when we'll it comes see. Back, but we'll right see. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Brian, Brian. see. This is what I don't understand. She says you're a great father. I, I'm a great father, man. Yeah, it, you it, are. I can give you that. You are. I agree. And by the way, she doesn't have the luxury of kind of splitting for six months at a time. No. No, I don't. No. And I agree that, you know, that's not right, but uh, I'm a, I'm You're a not going to split anymore, are you? If, if, if this, if this baby turns leaves, out to be mine, gone for no, good. I'm not going yeah. anywhere. For good. But, well, good. Good. If, well, if I find out this baby ain't mine, you can get your out of my house. Oh, okay. I'll right. still be a oh, father to all the kids. By the way, if this your child, you're going to apologize, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I will apologize, yeah, too. Yeah, you better be uh, giving yeah, me a I huge will. apology, getting down on your knee and telling right. me I'm oh, sorry. And by the way, Brian, and by the way. That ain't going to happen. And by the way, we have a lie detector test, too. Yeah. And if she passes that lie detector test, you're going to apologize to her as well, yeah, I'll right? Yeah, I'm a well, man. Let's do I can do it. Let's do the test first. <laughs> to six-month-old Bryce, Brian. You see, this is what I like. She's calm, and he's going nuts. Brian, you are the father. Okay. I'm sorry. Now let's hear the results. Okay. You were asked if you cheated on Brian with your ex when Brian heard he was at your house. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Told you! Told you! You were asked if you cheated on Brian with one of your neighbors and gave him oral sex. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. Told
You were asked if you've ever cheated on Brian other than the one time he knows about. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You know what I do? You know what I say, Brian? I'm sorry. This is, this is what I want to tell you. Continue being the great father that you are. And now, you can start being the great lover I know you can to her, okay? We'll be back right after that. It's the biggest twist of the year. She's positive Terry is not. I don't even like you! I just want to be a father to my son! I don't like you! This mother says no way, but is Terry the father? Terry! <laughs> you are the father! Get off my stage! <laughs> it's the most memorable hour of the year. And it starts now. This next story. This is a big twist for our show. You see, this is Terry. Terry called the show because he's desperate to prove that he is the father of one and a half year old Armani. <laughs> now, here's the twist. You see, Armani's mother, Hope, denies Terry visitation <laughs> and denies all fatherly rights <laughs> because she says she's positive Terry is not Armani's father. <laughs> so this is how it's been affecting Terry. Armani mean the world to me. If I find out Armani ain't my son, I'd be hurt. it will be like taking a real deep bow. If I find out that Armani is my son, I'm gonna be the happiest man in the world. I'll be able to actually see him and interact with him. I'll be able to be his father instead of just playing all these games like she's been doing for the last two years. I called the show a few days ago because in my heart, I believe that Armani is my son. Hope keeps saying that I'm not Armani's father, but she's lying just to save her relationship with her fiance Alfie. It hurts me so bad just because I want to be there so much for him. What's that little child mean to you? Man. I might mean a lot to me. I know she did not, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. I put, this baby, I put what so you much into about? it. You oh, I've only seen pictures of Armani. She ain't. Take a look at him here. You think you look like him? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You got that child's picture on your MySpace? I got this picture on my MySpace. I got pictures of him on my, in my room. I got him on my USB. I keep Armani on my pictures. Just because I just because I got love for just because I got love for you, I loved you enough to take care of your other two kids, but I'm not good enough to take care of my own. Stop oh! All right, th this is what Ho this is what Hope had to say. Watch. Terry, listen up. For the last time, you are not my baby father. How dare you post pictures of my son on your internet pages? Claiming you're the father. You need to get your mind right. Every time you say you're Armani's father, you assassinate my character. People think I'm a slut and don't know who my baby father is. I'm engaged to this man, Alfie. And they look exactly alike. And he is my baby's father. You need to leave me and my son alone. When Maury says you are not the father, you need to take your crying ass home and find your real baby's mother. Here's Hope.
Yes, Maury. Yes, Maury. Yes, Maury. They look alike. Right, Charles, you see that? My baby don't look like this dude. <laughs> okay. You barely got a neck. What you mean? You don't look like this. Tanisha, Bonquisha, Talisha, and Natasha, and mine pulled the name out the hat and decided I was his baby mama. I don't even like you. I don't want you to be in my life. What you mean? What you mean? Oh. He tried to assassinate my character because oh. I'm a good one. Oh. I, I just want to be a father to my son. I don't like you. Oh. What happens? What happens if he is the father? What happens if he is the father? Yeah. Or is he I'll just... pay you to tell me he is the father. You really? know what I'm saying? He is not my baby's father. Quit not. playing. He, this is a publicity stunt for him. And I thought you had to be thankful. What you mean, publicity stunt? I'd have been on America Idol, baby. I got vocals out of this world. What you mean, publicity stunt? So you'll pay me if he's the father, right? I will, I will give you back the DNA money you paid to get it. Right. If he is the father. When it comes to a year and a half old Armani, Terry, you are not the father. <laughs> You won't believe what happened backstage. She cheated on her husband with another man, his own brother. You want to be the father. I want him to be my son more than anything in the world. Is her husband or her husband's brother the father? Travis. The results are in. You are the father! <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. It's the most memorable hour of the year, and it starts now. Now, my next guest, Jessica, who's 19, says that she's ashamed because she needs to find out if her husband, Travis, is the father of her five-month-old son, Chase. You see, this is a very sad story because the two of them lost their first child two years ago when Jessica delivered a stillborn baby. And at that time, she was feeling confused and numb. And believe it or not, she found comfort in the arms of another man, Travis's own brother, Sammy. So then, Jessica became pregnant and is now hoping that Travis, who she's married to, and not his brother Sammy, is Chase's father. Watch. I married my husband Travis when I was 16 years old. It was the most happiest day of my life. We tried to have a baby, and I got pregnant with a little girl. Eight months later, I had a stillborn, and it just destroyed my family. When our baby died, our relationship died too. And he wanted to be with these friends, and I didn't have nobody to turn to. I made the mistake of my life, and I cheated on Travis with his brother. Shortly after, I got pregnant, and now I don't know whether Travis or his brother Sammy is the father. And our son Chase, he shouldn't hurt for what I did. When I think about Travis not being the father of my son Chase, it breaks my heart because I think I'm going to lose my family if he's not. But you all are married. Why do you think you'll lose your, your husband? Because he grew up without a father, and this is all he ever wanted was to be married and have kids, and then I made the mistake of cheating, and then now I'm not so sure. Does he say he would be there if it's not his child? He ain't never really said he wouldn't, but I can just I feel it. When did you tell Travis? I told him about three days later because it was eating me up inside. What was his reaction? He was so disappointed. He wouldn't look at me for two weeks. He just, every time he walked by me, he just looked at me in disgust. And it just broke my heart because he's my true love. And when you found out you were pregnant? I could just see the hurt in his eyes.
because he knew automatically yeah. that there was a possibility that Chase might not be his. Yeah, and I knew it would kill him if it ain't his. Before we meet Travis, this is what he had to say. When I found out my wife Jessica cheated on me with my own brother, it pretty much ripped my heart out and destroyed my relationship with my brother. Right before my wife cheated on me, we lost our little girl Faith, and it just made things worse that she cheated on me and abandoned me at the time that I needed her. When I found out my wife was pregnant with Chase, I didn't know how to feel because I didn't know if he was really mine or not. And I was scared to get attached to him because I didn't want to lose him too. My life depends on these results from this test, whether he's my son or not. Until I find out that I'm his father, I won't be able to forgive my wife until I know for sure that he's mine. Here he is, Travis. Travis, come on out. Welcome. It's good to see you. So, Travis, Travis, I, I guess more than anything else, you want to be the father. Oh, yeah, I want him to be my son you more than anything in the world. And I'm, I can't build a bond with him until I know for sure if he's mine. Because in, when I grew up, when I turned 16, I found out that the guy that was my dad wasn't my real dad. Aww. And I don't want my son to go through the same thing. How's the, how's the bond between you and your brother? We're, we're, we're all right. We're nothing like we was before this happened. I trusted him. I trusted my wife, and they both let me down and ripped my heart out. Oh. Oh. Right after we lost our little girl, that's what hurt me the most. Can you forgive her? I'm going to try my best. You ought to. I think she's a good woman. Okay. I really do. I know she is. Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> comes to five-month-old Chase, Travis. Is her husband or her husband's brother the father? The results are next. He was not the father. But you won't believe what happened backstage. You are the father. Get off my stage. hour of the year and it starts now I married my husband Travis when I was 16 years old it was the most happiest day of my life we tried to have a baby and I got pregnant with a little girl eight months later I had a stillborn and it just destroyed my family when our baby died our relationship died too and he wanted to be with his friends, and I didn't have nobody to turn to. I made the mistake of my life, and I cheated on Travis with his brother. Shortly after, I got pregnant, and now I don't know whether Travis or his brother Sammy is the father. When I found out my wife Jessica cheated on me with my own brother, it pretty much ripped my heart out and destroyed my relationship with my brother. When I found out my wife was pregnant with Chase, I didn't know how to feel because I didn't know if he was really mine or not. Until I find out that I'm his father, I won't be able to forgive my wife until I know for sure that he's mine. When it comes to five-month-old Chase, Travis, you are the father. <laughs> Treat that, Thank you, Mark. You gotta treat that, that, that child a little different now. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's yours. Different. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Good Thank luck. All right. So I know you'll have a great life. Oh, yeah. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Daddy, Daddy missed you. Daddy missed you. He was not the father. But you won't believe what happened backstage. It's the most memorable hour of the year. And it starts now. It was the biggest twist of the year. She's positive Terry is not. Terry is the father, Lord. What you say? This is the craziest story I've ever had. This is a publicity stunt for him. I don't even like you. I I'm going to be a father to my son. I don't like you. Terry, you are not the father. Not the father. But you won't believe what happened backstage. Eric. Ha ha! 
I'm sure you'll be a good father to the child that will come along to you at some point, okay? I do appreciate you for saving my child's life. I will never... They used to act it. like it. All that dragging you know my name through the mud, that's bogus. That you did that to me, too, but you know what? I would never Ain't disrespect no love you like that. I have a hug from you. If you feel like you need somebody to talk to, you can call her money. You know what I'm saying? We're extremely happy to know that these two left the show on good terms. Until next time, America. Not the fuck.